uh, I might need you like to, uh, you know, say what you see on it, you know, like, uh, cause you, you, you got that eye, you know? Oh yeah. I got, you know, I know what's, I know what's up young girl. Um, all you gotta do is just pull the picture up. We can read that motherfucker. What I'm saying, that's what I'm saying. All right. We live y'all. Let me get that thumbnail loaded up for you. We live with the brother Rod Haynes, the legendary Rod Haynes, brothers. Hold up, I got it right here. I actually created a thumbnail for this joint. That joint live right there. Yeah. Hey, we're gonna give him time to get in the building. Rod Body, if you're coming in the building, we back on. With the brother Rod Hayes. He's about to be lit in the building. We see you coming in. They're going to pile up in this joint. We got 23 people so far. Hey, get them on. Tell them we lit. We live. Yeah, I've been rolling them out, man, nonstop. Bobble told me to stay busy. I've so seen. We, I've been watching. I've been seeing what you've been doing. Yeah, we, we, we try to cover all... The subjects that they talk about. All right, we make, let me get that. Let me get that chat pulled up, and we can rock and roll, man. We got people up in this joint. Hey, get them on, man. We lit. We live. We in the building. Hit that like. Hit that subscribe button. We got the legendary Rod Haynes on with us, man. About to take over the game. Yeah, we got to let. Uh, I see Black Magic going live too right now. Oh yeah. <clears throat> hey, so uh, where you want to start at, Rod? Cause we they they roll we roll there. You want to give them a couple more minutes? Uh, we got about sixty seven people in here so far, but they found. Uh, give them a couple more minutes, Elder. Um, uh, but while we waiting, you know. Um, we can go over like a little introduction of what we're talking about. Okay. Um, a lot of us became familiar with the Yakub doctrine through the Nation of Islam, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, Elijah said he learned from Master Fahd Muhammad that um, mm -hmm. there was a big head scientist playing with Magnus as a youth and found that opposites attract. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Remember the part about opposites attract because it's going to come back up toward the end of the description. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, Yakub decided that um, he would make an inferior people to rule over his Kindred mm -hmm. for 6,000 years. And Elijah said that the time we in now is the time of the end of the reign and the rule of Yakub's grafted devil. Mm -hmm. All right, now, <clears throat> the first thing we have to do is trace the word Yakub. Yakub is a uh, Hebrew word. Mm -hmm. It's actually pronounced correctly in Hebrew as Yachab. Yeah. It's spelled in Egypt, I mean in Hebrew language, using the English script and what we call a transliteration. You've seen Pops do that a thousand times in his, in his writings. He'll give you the script, then he'll give you the word for word transliteration and then he give you the word for word translation and then he give you the intent behind the language in this original language that would be different from the intentions of the uh, topic in modern day English. So then he would uh, put a bunch of little uh, little things in brackets throughout the sentence of his translation. Right, because th th these are the things you have to add in in order for the Hebrew language to be coherent to an English speaking person in the translation. 
right? So, Jacob, where is the name Jacob, biblically speaking? Mm -hmm. The name Jacob, biblically speaking, is translated in the English as Jacob. Mm -hmm. Right? So, what did Jacob do? What is the significance of Jacob? Yeah. Right. You, you asking me or you, you this is just a type this just is a uh what you call rhetorical questions right. because most of us know the answers to them already. But I'm gonna still when I get done, I'm gonna go back over what the, what he did. Mm -hmm. All right. First of all, you have to understand Jacob was a fraternal twin to a brother named Esau mm -hmm. or Edom is what they called it. Now, the Hebrew Israelites tend to think that the pale-skinned Europeans are um, Edomites. That's mm -hmm. not possible. Mm -hmm. If you go back to the story of Adam and Eve, Adam's name is also Edom in Hebrew. Mm -hmm. Right? So now the story is being broke up to confuse the reader. So Adam's twin brother is Jacob. Mm -hmm. And Adam had two sons, so they say, mm -hmm. right? And he had Cain and Abel, right? Mm -hmm. Now, they offered up offerings to the elders, or they say they offered up the offerings to the heavens in the book. Mm -hmm. And that um, Abel's offering, Habil, was good, and they accepted mm -hmm. it, but he mm -hmm. was a farmer of wheats and grains. But Cain was a farmer of cattle and um, goats. Mm -hmm. Livestock is what it's actually mm -hmm. called. And so he made an offering but they said the offering was no good. Mm -hmm. So in a fit of jealousy, Cain slew Abel. Ain't that what the story say? Mm -hmm. All right. Now, where do we hear that story in the historical context anywhere else before? Uh, in ancient Kemet, where, they, where Osiris got killed by his brother. Osiris and Seth. Mm-hmm. All right, now, set, what is a set? It's a pair, ain't it? Mm -hmm. That's right, go ahead. Right, so if Osiris is the first, set is the second. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So set became jealous of Osiris. Do you remember the, Do you remember what he was jealous about? Uh, it's a number of things that I, I can think of and come up with. But I think it was because of how he ruled, or just overall how he ruled. Uh, but like, it's a lot of little little things involved with why he killed them. Go, you got to go back to the story. Of Inky. He was the humans. Why was Enlil jealous? Ink. It's the same reason. Uh, because the rulership, rulership, right? Like he got placed in charge. And, yeah. Right. And who who was Inky married to? Um, Inky was married to. Ninti, he was married to uh, Demkina. He was married to, uh, he had several wives, but uh, right. the most I can Now, yeah. one of his wives, Mother Ninti, mm -hmm. held the title of Ainana. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right? Ainana is a secret word in mm -hmm. the Anunnaki pantheon. Mm -hmm. Ainana is the heir mm -hmm. to the earth rights. Mm -hmm. The name is I, is the Egyptian I of Horus. Mm -hmm. And Nana is nine. Okay. So he's looking at the nine when he sees Mother Nit. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Now, Mother Ninti has the good graces 
of somebody that the Anunnaki refer to in the Hebrew tongue is El Eliun Eliun El. Mm -hmm. And who who do we say that is? Eliun Eliun El. We said that's Anu. That's Anu himself. Mm -hmm. Right mm -hmm. now. We already starting with Elijah Muhammad and we had Inky and Enlil and the Anunnaki. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Let me get a drink. <laughs> yeah, get, yeah, get this drink of water. Let me get me a drink. <clears throat> okay, now. Pause mm -hmm. for a minute. In the sons of Canaan, by Malachi mm -hmm. York. Mm -hmm. Remember that? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> he mentioned the Canaanite mm -hmm. who was the son of Ham who is consistent through the Levitical text to be inflicted with something called leprosy. Mm -hmm. the, the clean leper is not the same as what they call the dirty leper or the unclean leper. Okay. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. So the clean leper, he only have a loss of pigmentation of the skin and his hair turns a yellowish white. That's what they say in Leviticus. Mm -hmm. When they tell you the description of him with the blind hair and the milky colored skin. Mm -hmm. All right. But it's something about this group they got hair texture the same as Ham. Mm. But who is Ham and what land did he settle? <clears throat> Remember, Bobby tell us the Ham settled the land that we call today the Ethiopia into the Sudan. Mm -hmm. Right? And the Scythians, they settled something called North Africa. Mm -hmm. Right? And mm -hmm. then the... Um, the uh those from Abraham came from Ur of the Chaldees. Mm -hmm. Pause right there. Ur means fire. And Chaldees mean those wicked of the fire. Mm -hmm. They commonly translate Chaldean in the English if you can find somebody willing to translate it as demon people. Mm -hmm. Now, in the city of Ur, remember Baba told us about Gehenna. Mm -hmm. Gehenna was a giant hole in the ground that was stoked with coals smothered in sulfur to intensify the burn. Mm -hmm. Now, if you go to Zechariah's extension, when he's telling you about the Anunnaki disposal of the Lulu Amalu, right? Mm -hmm. He said they would walk over the cliff into a flaming ember as mm -hmm. if they was in a trance when it was time to dispose of it. Mm -hmm. Now, this brings us to the question of cremation. Why, do, why was they burning them in the trash dump? where they put waste. Yeah, it's a good question. Okay, now the biblical description that tells you about Gehenna say that in Gehenna, there was weeping and gnashing the teeth. What mm. you gonna do if you catch on fire? Yeah, right? So Ro 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 screaming, Ro Ro right? <laughs> stop, drop, roll, go ahead. You ain't nowhere to roll. You, you on top <laughs> of the coals in a hole. Yeah, right, go ahead. Okay. Enter Dante's Inferno. Uh-huh. And Dante's Inferno gives you the modern day understanding and concept of hell. Mm -hmm. This is a Middle Eastern all the way into European concept of uh, hell and death. Mm -hmm. Has mm -hmm. nothing to do with the people of the Americas concept it has nothing to do with the people of Africa's concept or the people of India's concept or the people of China's concept. Mm -hmm. It's concentrated. Now, where does the ziggurat 
that Pops told us they landed when they came, it was the launch pad. Remember where it was at? Uh, Babylon, uh, well, I guess it'll be Iraq. Uh, uh, um. It was in the, it was, remember, it was in the city of, it was in the, um, it was the ziggurat in Babel that the earthlings was building for a launch pad mm -hmm. to go check on these motherfuckers on that ship that ain't getting right coming down here with this bullshit. Fuck that mm -hmm. motherfucking team. We can do our own shit. Mm -hmm. Right? So mm -hmm. they said the earthlings is starting to organize in a building, um, what is it saying there? A scaffold to heaven. Mm -hmm. Let us now go down, strike them, divide up the languages one from another. Right? Mm-hmm. Okay, and then when they divide up the languages, they scatter the people in all directions. That's called divide and conquer. If you take one group of people and you teach them a different language and a different culture, it automatically separate them from understanding the other people and the other cultures. Mm -hmm. There was a problem they didn't contend with is that the earth based on geography will organize the DNA to reform, revert back to the culture of the land. If you vibrate on the frequency, you can tune in to the earth and the earth will tie you to the land at the place of what they call nativity. Mm -hmm. Where else do you hear that word? You hear that word at the birth of the Christ and the in the Bible, right? They call it the nativity scene, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then where else do you find the word nativity? nativity it's nativity. in um, immigration and naturalization laws. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Right? So what are they telling us in this secret code? What they telling us is that the sacrificial child is the child born a native. Hmm. So they're going to sacrifice the native, original man, Adama, Edomite, the one from the earth, the clay, the ruddy red dirt. And they're going to undermine him. Jacobin means to what? Supplant. Mm -hmm. And supplant means what? Undermine, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, now, so who's behind the undermining? Jacob, right? Mm -hmm. Because Yaku grafted what? The devil. Mm -hmm. You feel like pulling up the etymology of the word devil? Let's pull it up. This is important. Because people believe the devil means a spooky ghost with pitchfork and horns. But if you do the etymology on the word, you get to understanding of what you're dealing with. Because the word devil in the end only means your adversary. E-T-Y, um, E-T-Y, -E etymology, E-T-Y. Oh, E-T-Y, okay, hold up. Like that. Right. Etymology, E-T-Y, etymology of the word devil. You could have just put devil. <clears throat> I guess. Old English, Germany, late Latin from Greek. Uh, you see Diablo. where it says Greek is Diablos and accuser, yeah, Diablos. a slanderer, Diablos. right? Yeah. From Diablin to slander. Now, go where it say uh, more definitions. <clears throat> now, scroll down because we finna get into the word. We finna get deep into this devil shit. Right here. Devil, third person. Devil's past tense. Devil's past possible. Devil. Um, get run or present particle, deviling, past tense, devil, past possible, deviled, 
can okay, so now it's a act as a juror assistant for a lawyer or Dang. a professional. Right? North Dang. America means to harass or worry. Let's go down a little further. Let's see if we can get some more information on the word double. Origin. Old English, diofo, related to the Dutch, duivel, and German, tufel. Via late Latin from Greek, diobolos, accuser, slanderer, using the Septuagint to translate the Hebrew Satan. Satan from diabolin to slander, from dia, cross, balin to throw, to throw across. So <clears throat> in the book, the accuser is the false accuser is the one we call the devil. Mm -hmm. If we get any more any more etymology to the word. Okay, all right. Let's see here. <clears throat> a devil is subordinate evil spirit afflicting humans also in Christian theology, the devil of power power. Now, this is a Christianized definition. Because if you mm -hmm. notice, it's always saying in the Christian theology, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Oh, English to fall, the devil supporting the evil spirit, afflicting humans. Also, in Christian theology, the devil, a powerful spirit or evil, otherwise known as Satan, from late Latin and Diablos, also the source of Italian, Diovolo, French, Diable, and French, Spanish, Diablo. German to mm -hmm. fell in, is Old High German, to Ufo, from Latin, via Gothic, Diablos. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So now here it is. The a devil is an attorney. Damn. Go ahead. And the attorney in this case is the one making the accusation. Who okay. would that be in the so now the we DA. ended up tracing Yakub that drafted devil led us to the courtroom. Go ahead. Oh, you going somewhere with this? Go ahead. In the courtroom, you got an attorney that's the accuser. What's, what do they call him, you know? You can go back you to the call screen. Him the uh, district attorney, right? Uh, the, uh, the, the, plank. the district attorney, the prosecutor, yeah, um, prosecutor. The state litigator, et cetera. The right? you, can pull, you can pull us back up, Elder. Okay, we right. got a good understanding go of the word. Man, you, uh, by, you, we should by now. We don't be talking about the lawyers. Yeah, you about to go in. Go ahead. Okay, now, where did they give us an opportunity to discover that an attorney is a devil? They never told us that. Well, I ain't never heard it to now. You ain't never, you ever heard of a uh, devil's advocate with Keanu Reeves? Yeah, yeah, I think I've seen that movie. Who was he working for? He was working for the damn devil. The devil. Yeah. Who was the attorney that was running a law firm? Oh, yeah. Now it's starting to fit. Yeah, come, come on with it. Let me see what you got. <clears throat> okay, so the young attorney with a conscience in a parameter for right don't want to participate or help the devil do his devilishment in the courthouse. So they end up having to fall out and Keanu Reeves end up in a conflict with the devil. Right? Then what happened? Keanu Reeves went on to become Constantine. Who was Constantine? You know hey, Constantine so was? You said who was Constantine? Yeah. Like in the movie or uh, in like uh, dealing with like the this, uh, the rewriting. What's uh, the first when you hear Constantine? What's the first thing come to your mind? Um, Constantine three twenty five A.D. Uh, Nicene yeah. Council. Yeah. Right. So mm -hmm. he's telling you that the devil sent him to advocate in in Nicaea under Constantine. Hmm. Right, but mm -hmm. remember the movie he did when the robot was in in a uh, Central Park in New York, and he had all these superpowers, and he was an alien. 
I'm trying to I think. think it was a remake of an old 1950s movie called um um I think it's called When the Earth Stood Still or some shit. Oh yeah, I seen that movie When the Earth Stood Still. I'm trying to think about they the had robot. that big robot that was protecting the dude that looked like the human. I'm trying to think. Uh yeah, I seen that movie two or three times. Look in the comments. Somebody gonna tell you what the name of the movie is, but we gonna go on while you look at the comments. Oh, yeah, somebody drop that uh, movie in the comments. And if you want to sh uh, show us some love, hit that like, hit that subscribe button. And I, we posted <coughs> the brother Rod Haynes Cash App in the link if you want to show him some love. Uh, we got that in the links. So uh, we're gonna keep rolling. We just wanted to make them announcements. Go ahead, uh, brother Rod. Okay, now, I wanna show you something. You see this book right here? Yeah. Oh, I got that book. Oh, yeah. Hold on. I got that uh, book. <laughs> Damn. Phone fell and shit. Yeah, it's the exactly reason why I'm showing you this book. Right. Okay, that's Michael Cremo. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Y'all yelled on it. <clears throat> Better believe it. Okay, so now he have anomalies in the historical record. Mm-hmm that modern science don't want him to talk about in that book. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One of the things he talk about in that book is how long humans have been operating with a high level of intelligence on the earth. Everything from the Vermonters to five million year old boot prints in the soil. Mm -hmm. It's in there. Right. Mm -hmm. But he's coming from a Ayurvedic timeline to tell us that these are cycles of life that we go through <clears throat> on Earth. Mm -hmm. Right. Now, we go to the circle seven of, no of Noble Drew Ali. It's a derivative primarily of two books. Do you remember what mm -hmm. two books they were? Oh, uh, no. One was called The Aquarian Gospel of Jesus Christ by yeah, Levi Dowling. And the other one was called Unto the I Grant, The Economy of Life. Yeah, I don't got right? that one. Okay, now, when you get the book from the Rosicrucians, like I did, when you look in the inside cover, you see all of these ancient scrolls. Mm-hmm. Right, mm -hmm. and these ancient scrolls are historical records of the earth. Mm -hmm. Right, let's see if we can pull that book cover up so they can see it. What's the name of it? Um, damn, I forgot the name. I just said the name of it, didn't I? Yeah, it's, uh, it's the one after the Aquarian Gospel. Oh, it's uh, Unto D.I. Grant, The Economy of Life. Hey, UNTO. Said it. UNTO. Space. TH double E. TH. TH. I grant. This book right here. Yep. <coughs> That's the book. Oh yeah, I gotta get this. Go okay, ahead. So, so now that's on your that's on your radar. Mm -hmm. Now I want you to pull up another book that I'm finna use to cross reference this book. Right, I'm reading right. the pictures in this book. Unto the I Grant. Uh -huh. Pull up Rampa T. Lab saying. R A M P A T period space L O B. There you go. It popped up. L O B. There you go. The, the name of the book is called The Cave of the Ancients. You see it? 
Not yet, but that's him. But keep scrolling. We, okay, we're looking for what it's called the Cave of the Ancients. The Cave of the Ancients. Right here. All right. Oh, now in this, shit, book, in this book, he talks about going into the caves of Tibet into a secret oh. chamber that had a living computer in the room in the chamber. Mm. That had was programmed to tell him who he was by the resonance of his DNA. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. And the people that came up on the screen explained the technology and how it works. Now, why am I bringing up Ayurvedic school of thought? Because they have ancient scrolls that predate modern historical record books that has a longer history of the world than what we have available to us from modern scholastics, because they mm -hmm. use education as a weapon against us. Mm -hmm. All right, now, one more reference, just to add some flavor to it. Pull okay. up a series, it's called Masters of the Far East. They are giving secrets in this book right here that's the, the, the twine to tie all this shit together. I got to get this joint. So this is a collection of about five or six books. Now, from there, we want to know about genetics and we want to know about um about reproduction right mm -hmm. so these are called the sutras s u t r a s in india mm -hmm. all right you can go back to regular screen now okay all right. <clears throat> Oh, okay, so the one they call the great text is called Mahabharata. And it's mm -hmm. broke up into multiple different sections. The um, epic work of the Bhagavad Gita is within the Mahabharata. Mm -hmm. Right? Now, over there, they got something, scrolls for government, because in the secret caves of Tibet, this is why China was trying to kill off all of the Tibetan priests. Mm. They are the keepers of certain sacred records that they ain't gonna never let these motherfuckers know where they at. So they trying to torture them out of the information because every time they go in the Himalaya mountains and send somebody to get these records, they don't come back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And they keep telling them that you don't really want to know where they at because you ain't going to come back. Mm -hmm. But the inside of the, the caves and the security of the caves, if a person go in there that haven't been um, trained to attune a frequency, what end up happening is they suffocate the mitochondria and it basically shorts them out. Hmm. So that's why they can't, that's why they don't, they don't never come back because they're not properly trained on the energy balancing that's required in order to enter into the sacred places. Mm -hmm. Now it's sacred places all over the world. Some yep, of them you can enter, but you, you don't think nothing happened, but you can't want, you won't never know why you can't get your life right. You fucked mm. your whole energy field up. You getting a whole bunch of karma for a whole bunch of motherfuckers that you didn't have nothing to do with. All right, now, so the Yaku story traces biblically to Jacob, and this mm -hmm. is confirmed by anybody in the nation. <clears throat> now, they are a group of people known as Jacobins. And they also call them Jacobins. 
Mm. Y'all cool writing the name. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right? In early Roman history, they came as a group called Etruscans. Mm. Right? And these are the ones who Constantine set as the devil's advocate. Mm -hmm. It's just judicials. When you ask Africans about the Osiris story from the tribal communities, they say they call it the holy drama. Mm. Right? And they said that it was a court case. Right? So somewhere be around the time of the first recorded dynasty, um, some people came here from Nibiru to expedite the mining of the gold. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> we are familiar with that as Nuwapians, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We know they came for the gold. Now, we know of the scientists that accompanied them. We know about Ninersin. We know about Arishkadel and Nergal, right? We know that Enki was a geneticist and Ninti, Mother Ninti was also what you call the, the lead nurse or the great doula, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. This we already know from our new Wattian research. Mm -hmm. When you go into India, there was a scroll that gave them the description of the genome, but it was coded. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And they pass it off as a sex manual and call it the Kama Sutra. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's right. Go ahead. Now, we ain't going to pull that up because it's going to show some probably some butt naked people on the cover. But in the Kama Sutra, the energy harness of each one of the sex positions tells you what DNA codone is being activated. Mm -hmm. They use the lewd act of sex to make people abs absorb the study in the culture that they was in. Mm -hmm. But it's coded because only the people from the culture know that the code exists. Mm -hmm. So you come along and you discover that it's coded and that the code is the codone. You see that it's a DNA thing. How do we know it? Because of what would they call the Nergus, right? So we talking about the caduceus in Greece, the double serpent climbing the sword, mm -hmm. right? With the feathers at the top, the symbol of Hermes himself, right? Mm -hmm. The winged guy who went to, who was the messenger of the gods. And he always done things expeditiously, very fast. So we know him today in modern um, animated series as Flash. But before he was Flash, mm -hmm. he was called Mercury. Right? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and so um, he carries the medical symbol for the modern American Medical Association. Ain't that odd? Yeah, that's odd. If the devil is an attorney, you didn't know doctors were attorneys either, did you? Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. The doctor's job is not about health. They are legally responsible to maintain Lulu Amalu and keep them in a working fashion Damn. for a minimum of 60 years. They're not allowed to have the technology that can turn that 60 into 250 easy. Mm. So where do we find a geneticist that can tell us the leads to finding this longer life process? I want you to pull up Cynthia Kenyon. I'm going to spell the name for you when you get to the screen. 
Cynthia, Cynthia Kenzie. So, uh, hold up. We're gonna get please. educated today. All right, all right, you 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 already giving got me some got me some Jews on me, man. C Y N T H I C I N C Y N. Oh, T Y N. T H I A N. T H I N. K E. No, no, no. I A K I A new word. I A then new word. Not A I I A. Well, you can leave it at that. I A K E N Y O N. Okay. All right. Go to where it say videos. Are we not gonna play this video, but I'm going to show them where to look. Oh yeah, I'm definitely gonna watch it. What you got? Okay, now what she's telling us about in these videos, you can just scroll down just so they could get a good look at who I'm talking about. Genetic control. She is a she is a gerontologist, right? Out of UCLA Berkeley, who discovered something called a human aging hormone and a receptor blocker. Hmm. Now, go back to the Bible for a minute. If you think they're not doing genetics, she's telling you what she discovered that's related to the aging process that makes the cells break down. Right? Mm -hmm. um, if you scroll, if you go right there where it say key moments and you go right to see where it say 10 key moments in the middle. Yeah. And then right over that, nope, it's not that one. The no, pass, it's it's up, it's up, son. The video I was looking for is up, son. Right there. But anyway, um, see the DAF two hormone receptor. Yeah, that's it. Click that. I don't know if it's gonna let you play the sound. No, it won't do the sound, uh, but they can see where they can see the video, I think. Yeah. We'll okay, so here she's telling you how it works. See where it say hormone receptors are similar to two human hormone receptors, receptor for uh -huh, insulin uh -huh. and IGF one. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Right. So some of these um hormones, she had to rename them or name them because they didn't know they existed. Damn. All right, now, her work is to find longevity. Now, go to the search bar and look up. I don't know if it's going to uh, tell you about the secret society, but it's called the Lazarus Group. Lazarus, like Lazarus in the Bible. Go to the all so we can see what they talk, if it's the right one. They they Chinese niggas? So the Lazarus group, um, he might be part of it because they got people from all over the world involved in the Lazarus group, but they all of them old motherfuckers like Henry Kissinger, uh, the Rockefeller brothers, the uh, all the motherfuckers is part of the uh, Lazarus group. Yeah. It's a secret society. I think they talk about it in the X-Files and they talk about it in another TV show, but they quest is to find, it's a horror movie that talk about it too, but they quest is to find a way to eternal life. Uh-huh. Right? So... <clears throat> the Lazarus group was responsible for a lot of the resurgence of the old technology that Hitler recovered and learning that they had um, age reversing technology. Mm. All right, now we're talking genetics, we're talking Yakub's grafted devil. I need you to pull up DN, uh, chromosome sheath. 
Because for you to understand what I'm about to tell you next, you have to have a vision. Chromosome what? S H E A T H. S H. Okay, hey, put tell, put this in there. Put T E L. Erase that. Chromosome. Yeah, erase that. T E L M E R E. All right, now we're talking. You see that red piece on the um, end of the chromosome, right? Uh huh. That's called a telomere. As you get older, that gets smaller. And as that gets smaller, it's because you age because of that. Uh -huh. Now, remember in the Bible, it's saying man shall not, the spirit of God shall not always dwell with man, for his years shall be 120. Yeah. When you born, you see the third line up. You got a cursor you can put on this to show what I'm talking about. Uh, I don't got a cursor on this one, but I, but I got it blew up for you if you can. If okay, you can see so it. now you see. Okay, now look, you see where it's red. Yeah, it's the line over that. That's the yeah. first line. Yeah. Then it's the second line, and then the third line. Yeah. When you born, you approximately that telomere is approximately to the third line. Mm hmm. By the time you are about 60, it's right there. Okay. In order to take an eternal being and limit a life, altering the genetics, you have to clip the tail mirror. And once you did it, it used to cover the entire, uh, the entire chromosome. But mm. now it doesn't. This is when they stole our eternal life. Right here is how they did it. Go ahead. Okay, now, zoom back. Okay, so now they made us be where our lifespan is roughly 120 years, and that's determined by that part of the tail mirror. Hmm. That determines our aging cycles. In order for that to work, the body had to create a receptor in order to have a chemical tell the body how old it is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is done through a series of hormones called human growth hormones, mm -hmm. HGH. Mm -hmm. Pull HGH up so the people can see I know what the fuck I'm talking about. Because if they don't know, I know what yeah, I'm talking about H right now. now. HGH. 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 Yep. Oh. Uh, you see that blue bottle right there? Right here? HGH on it. Yeah. Human growth see hormone. What, yep. You see what it said at the bottom? It says, uh, Samotropin RNA origin for injection. Wow, go ahead. Okay, now, this is what bodybuilders is using to replace the steroids because it doesn't have the same um, toxic effects. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. But look what. But remember, they've been talking about our DNA all through the television. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Right. And mm -hmm. they're talking about stem cells and shit with the RDNA. They're talking about receptors and cells and all that shit. On mm -hmm. the, all of that is in relation to the jab and related topics. Mm hmm. And we're not going to address that. 
Now, the HGH is responsible in different strains of itself to mm -hmm. that the pituitary gland produces in increments and as it produces a certain amount, the chemist go changes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, remember what they told us our DNA do, right? Yeah, it, 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 it copies uh, cells, right? Yeah, it tells the cells what, what's, what's good, what's not, what to accept and what not to accept. Uh-huh, mm-hmm. Right? Now, let's go back to the to the screen so we can chop it up some more on this Yaku's graft. Okay, go ahead, because hey, you, uh, you just gave me a lot a lot of clues to go off of on my own little research off of Look, this on the chromosome joint. We got to remember, Pops told us all this shit. I just put it in a way that more people can understand it. That's yeah, it. Yeah, I just seen it when you was putting that. It, it. I'm, not telling you not, I'm not telling you nothing that ain't already written. Mm hmm It's fire. That was fire. Right? Go ahead. Okay, now, so Yaku grafted a devil. This big head scientist, whether he existed or not, becomes irrelevant or what they call in law a moot point when the effect of if he did exist is here. Mm -hmm. Right? So whether Yakub actually grafted the devil or not becomes a moot point. It's not even relevant because the byproduct, the end result of what they claim Yakub's grafted devil's aim was has been reached mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because he created an inferiorly genetic people Mm -hmm. And he put him in front of him to rule over his people. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we're talking about imperial conquest in royal families of ancient times and modern era unfolding. When you understand... Mm -hmm. mm. Just cut off. Come back on. Hey. hey, hold the show for a minute. I got to take this call. I got you. I got you. I got you. Hey man, if you in the building, hit that like. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Uh, Rod, how many been? Hey, if you in the building, let me stop saying the screen. Hey, if you in the building, hit that like, hit that subscribe button, right? And if you want to show us some love, show the brother Rod Haynes some love. We're dropping this uh cash app in the links. So uh, you know, we he don't do it for money, but uh, we like to show the brother some love because this uh this is what he do. Uh, bring us the information that we need to the family, right? So I'm dropping it in the links right now. I drop it every like uh, I drop it in the links every five minutes. Cause we got we got a record amount of people on here right now. Like uh, it's we had five hundred and something. That's like just the most I had on the live uh, at one time. Uh, and it could be more than that because this computer delayed. So, it, but. But if you're in the building, Rob Bot, we appreciate you for coming out. Like I say, uh, hit that like. We hey, we got we got 500 people. Everybody hit that like, man. Come on in and come on in. Tell, go uh, share it on Facebook. Tell everybody we on live with the legendary Rod Hands. We on live. And that chromosome, that chromosome joint he just dropped, man. He just gave me another another part of this shit because. I feel like we had to do a tape called uh, which one was first, the woman or the man? The woman or the man, which one was first? And I, and I was looking into chromosomes. Uh, Rob Haynes probably got to click it back on and click back off. If you want to show me some love, we're dropping my cash app in the links. You know what I'm saying? So uh, we love love. We take $1, $5, $10, whatever you got. If you want to show me and the broad brothers, Rob Haynes, that you really down with us, send us a hundred dollars. Send us a hundred dollars, man. That'll, that'll really put your brother in the game right now. I'm telling you. That'll put me in the game right now. If the ancestors send me a hundred dollars, that put me in the game. Uh, yeah, so we're talking about Yaku's drafted devil. And uh, the, the Rod Haynes is giving his perspective on it, and I just seen a, I'm seeing a whole bunch of other stuff to add to my game. You know what I'm saying? That's what we do. We absorb everybody's perspective. 
whether it don't matter if you disagree with them or not, or uh, you, uh, you think that their perspective is wrong or not. Uh, we just absorb that perspective and take what we can take from it and we add it to our game that just make us just that much better, right? Uh, so I think Ron Haynes is gonna be back on in a minute. I think his phone, somebody called him or something. So I'll uh, just give him a minute. Uh, he gonna be back on, but we that chromosome joint, man, and and we, we this he might have just gave me he did, really he just gave me the energy to go look in the, looking into an eternal life uh, thing with the chromosomes and the telomeres that he was just talking about. I'm gonna go look into that. I'm gonna have I might do a tape on the chromosomes. Come back on that joint. That's a whole tape right there that we could get in on. If you're in the building, hit that like, man. Hit that subscribe. I told y'all we we're gonna get the brother Ron Haynes back on. We got other people we bringing on too as for the features to keep this thing rolling, keep it live, keep it lit. We hitting you every day. We, we put out the black extra tape this morning. It should be showing up on the page tomorrow. Uh, because they, they, they got a one day delay on our tapes. So we put three tapes out yesterday. So them tapes should be uh showed up tomorrow. And uh yeah, he, he gave me a whole nother perspective on the Yaku thing, man. Uh, you know, uh, he tying it all in together. He bringing it, he bringing it all home. All right, we got Hakeem in the building with us right here, man. Look at this dude. Look at this dude, bro. Look at this dude. Hey, Hakeem, go on in there and close the door so I can kick the uh, background noise out. Close the door. Bring me back a pretzel, bro. Bring me back a pretzel, Hakeem. Yeah, so we glad you tuned in with us today, man. Uh, you know, historical event. And um, like Yaku's, Yaku, um, the 6,000 years, he was given 6,000 years for his people to, uh, to do this business. And I believe it was all ordained because uh, I believe everything happens for a reason. And everything, even though it might seem bad, it's always a good side to it. Uh, but Yaku created this devil, and now he point, uh Rob Haynes just pointed out that the devil is a lawyer, right? And you know, we they tell us about the devil, the devil's advocate, and then they say Jesus is a lawyer as well. Jesus is pleading your case. They say Jesus is pleading your case against. The devil's there to accuse you, say you did this, say you did that. He like the DEA in the court. He like the DEA, right? He, he always said, try to take get you in jail, get you to go to hell. Jail is another word for uh, jail and hell is synonymous when you study the language. The J and the H is interchangeable. That's why they say uh, jalapeno when it's a J there. So when you say jail, you also saying hell. And then by the devil being a lawyer, a DEA try to put you in jail. That make a lot of sense on this devil thing, the devil being the advocate. That makes a lot of sense. And uh, so the devil is the accuser. He's always trying to find some dirt on us. I know a certain these it's a certain group of people that's always saying niggas did it. You know, uh, like I said, told you in that movie, The Goodfellas, when them guys were mafia guys were robbing those trucks. And they would park the truck outside in front of the restaurant, walk in, two, two Italians steal the truck. And then the guy come back out and see his truck gone. He goes back in to get on the phone and call the police, said two niggas stole his truck. He accused him. He accused the two niggas of stealing his truck. Hey, shout out the sister, uh, Shirella. Like I was saying, Shirella, Priscilla. For the one dollar donation, like I say, we take five, ten, one, whatever you got. And if you really want to put your brother in the game, send us a hundred dollars. That'll put us all the way in the game, right there. All we need is one person to do that. That'll put us all in the game, all the way in the game. Uh, yeah. So that that, that devil break the devil etymology breaking down to a lawyer. I can see that. I can grasp it. I can say, okay, all right. And then, like he said, some of these uh, stories is really court cases. 
So that that's it's a lot, it's another piece to the puzzle that we're getting here to put this thing together. Because all these all Yaku's drafted devil here to uh, accuse us and say that we're not worthy to go back into uh, travel galactically. Because we told you everything here is a test. We in school, so we get tested. From time to time, you have tests in school. So some, some things you might think it's bad or something going wrong for you, look at the good side to it. Because it's a lot of things that I think that I'd be thinking that it's, it's something bad. And then I look at the good side. Like, like this, for example, one day I'm driving and I'm in a rush because I'm running late to get to my son, pick my son up. And I'm going like 70 and like uh, 40, right? This old lady get in front of me driving slow. I'm mad. Like, this is lady driving like she, man, she driving slow. I, uh, she's hitting the brakes and stuff. But then up the road, there's a police thing. And then I really would have been late if they pulled me over. I would have really been late. Sitting there trying to talk to their boss and shit. The uh, supervisor tell them that, yo, I'm free to travel. Uh, so it would have delayed me another 20, 30 minutes probably, even more, waiting on the supervisor. Uh, if, if they if the uh, rookies didn't know what time it was. But by that old lady being in front of me driving slow, it made me slow down. I was looking at it as a bad thing, but then it was a good thing that I didn't get stopped by the cops. I had to wrestle with them, wrestle with these agents, right? So a lot of stuff, look at, look when, when shit happened and it's, it seemed like it's bad, look at the good thing. Like it was times where I didn't have no food. And, I didn't, and when I, all that food, I didn't have no food because the universe wanted me to fast. The universe wanted me to fast. So it, it shit happened so that you can, so it can help you. But you always, if you look at it as bad, it's going to be a negative, uh, bring negative energy to you. But if you look at it as a, everything that's bad that happened, look at it as a, look at the positive of it and over, you no, know, bring that positive out. Bring that positive out to the, to the forefront. You know what I'm saying? Shout out uh, Mr. Thomas for the $1 donation. For, hey, much love, brother. We appreciate you. Like I say, Rob Haynes probably had to go. He probably had an emergency, man. But we, uh, at least we got what we got. He'll probably be back home in just a minute. But we, uh, but Yaku's drafted devil. We, we talking about that. And it, we, uh, we already put a tape out on it and we we, bought, we uh revisiting that subject with the brother Raw Haynes. When he when he come back on, we maybe gonna be able to get some question and answers for him too. Uh so make sure you got your question and answers already ready to go to drop in the chat uh when we go to the question and answer uh phase. And like I say, I've been putting out videos every single day, three, four videos a day. Uh so you want to go check those videos out once we get off. You want to go check the uh the black extracurricular, well, it probably ain't gonna show up to tomorrow. Uh, what's the other video we got out? Uh, the Donald Trump raid video. I think that video has already showed up online already. Yeah, but these people were made to be against us. So, but it's not all Yaku's drafted devil don't include all white people. Like I say, some of those uh, people are Canaanites, Nubians. They just don't got the they albino. They don't got the melanin. And but and but some of them Canaanites are mixed with the frugal lords, and so you got to look at that too. Some of them Canaanites mixed with the frugal lords, so some of those frugal lords are connected with Yaku's draft. I mean, some of those Canaanites have can mix they see with Yaku's drafted devil. And if they got 6,000, they go rob, rob back home. Okay. All right, we back. We lit. We got you back on, brother. All right, we've been holding, we held it down, man. Uh, we got them back home, man. So uh, we're going to let them continue. I think you left off where, uh, go ahead, go ahead. What'd you say? I can't hear you. Did you mute? Oh yeah, there you go right there. Can you hear me? 
I can't hear you. Oh shit! What the hell is going on? Hey, can you hear me? I can't hear you. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, I'm hey, just, just making sure because I want to make sure the people can hear what we're talking about. Can you hear about. me? Yo, yo, yo. What the fuck? I can't hear you at all. Oh, that's my phone trip. Can you hear me? I hear you now. Oh, shit. I was like, oh, man. I know it ain't. Oh, uh, yeah, we can hear you, though. We can hear you clear, loud and clear. I think okay. you left off where you were uh, talking about um, the devil in the court thing and uh, connecting that with Yaku, uh, drafted devil. And I think he was going into the chromosome joint. That chromosome joint was hot, man. I'm telling you. Yeah. So, so we got to the part about how they was able to stop us from living these ex- Extensively long lives. Yeah, yeah. So now we have to figure out what's the motive. Why you know, why they want to cut our lifespan? <clears throat> you go back to Genesis. They didn't get kicked out for eating from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Mm-hmm. Everybody thinks that's why they got kicked out, but they got kicked out so they would eat from the tree of eternal life and live forever and be like mm-hmm. one of us. Mm-hmm. So whoever they is, they got long lifespans, but they cut ours short, mm-hmm. messing with the genetics, right? <clears throat> so in the, um, in the uh, birth scrolls of the doulas, <clears throat> it got the sequencing of the human genome written in herbs, what the herb do and um, what it treat tells them what's on that section Mm -hmm. (laughs) of DNA that can utilize this herb. Mm -hmm. (laughs) They get you a drink of water, man. I think I'm I breathed in a dust particle or something. Yeah, I've been having that lately, right, so, uh, lately too. Yeah. So now look. We know that they wanted us to live a short life, but why? <clears throat> mm-hmm. So if they cut the 120 years <clears throat> into 60, mm-hmm. how would they go about this? Yeah, if right. You, when when you read in the book, the uh, in the um <clears throat> in the uh, Sumerian tablets, they talk about making the, the viruses in the laboratory in order to keep the human population in check. Hmm. I'm, if I'm not mistaken, I'm almost positive. Pops talk about it in the um, holy tablets. Yeah, and the man from Planet Riz. <clears throat> Yeah. So the what we thinking is naturally occurring virals and bacteria. Mm-hmm. They've been making this shit in the laboratory all the time. Mm-hmm. Right? When you know what the genome is, <clears throat> you know what the effects of the viral agent. Notice they always call it an agent. What do agents do? They infiltrate, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right? What do viral do? Viruses spread, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And they come in, <clears throat> infiltrate, and spread out. Mm-hmm. Right? So they they scatter themselves across the land and try to move themselves into what's called positions of prominence. Mm. Every politician is a barrister, meaning an attorney. Go ahead. Go ahead. Meaning you a goddamn him. devil. You got him. The devil, the damn devil. The goddamn Go ahead. devil. Go ahead. Right? Now, if they are devils, who they work for? Barristers right. <clears throat> are what you call under royalty to lords. Mm-hmm. The lords are the ones who govern the land. Mm-hmm. Right? 
And the Lords is the ones that call themselves the elves. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. And the elves came in with El Shaddai. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. I'm with you. Right? <laughs> so El Shaddai is Inky, which telling us that it was part of some form of genetic engineering program. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. So they working to cultivate the land. Mm -hmm. Ain't that what it say? Mm -hmm. And the husband mm -hmm. cultivated the land, right? Mm -hmm. Intended to the cattle and to the flocks and to the herds. Ain't mm -hmm. that what it say? Mm -hmm. Okay, now. What your body made out of? Water. The soil uh, or earth. Yeah, earth, water, all the minerals of the yep. earth. Yeah. And then they said it took man from the dust of the ground. That means he's mm -hmm. earthborn. He's tied mm -hmm. to the earth because he's made out of earth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right? Then mm -hmm. they say he divided them up into tribes, families, and clans. Mm -hmm. Those three different cultures. That's right. So it's three, <laughs> go ahead. It's three major cultures, tribes, families, and clans. Right? Mm -hmm. Tribes, tribes are more political and functional. Family is more personal and function. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And clans is more nomadic and function. Mm -hmm. What they call Arabi. Mm -hmm. And who is the Arabi? The Arabs, right? Mm -hmm. And what's the difference in the Arabs and the Chaldeans? The difference between the Arabs and the Chaldeans and uh, like the Chaldeans from back during Abraham's time or now. Like right now. Oh, right, right now, now the it, ain't no difference really. They they like the same people really because they they like Hindus and Fugaloids, like pale Arabs, real Arabs. They really like the original Arabs, but they pale Arabs. Look, they, they, they pay, pay attention. Look, we look mm -hmm. at the land. Mm -hmm. We can obviously see they the same people. So mm -hmm. it's something that's dividing and conquering them. What is it? Religion. Religion, because Chaldeans are always Catholics, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and Arabs are almost always Muslim. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right? Divide and conquer. Mm -hmm. So, what Elijah Muhammad say, Yaku grafted devil did? How do you recognize him? Go ahead. He said, everywhere he go. <clears throat> He sowed dissension between the righteous. Mm, mm. He turned one against the other and let mm -hmm. watch them fight. And when they depleted from the fight, he come in and break it up, and then he offer them a solution mm -hmm. for a fee. It's a pale shit. <laughs> Go ahead. <clears throat> Hegelian dialect 101. Right? Okay, now, how did he say Yakub's people in the grafting process managed the process? Uh, by, like, like how he created that light of genes, see? Right, but he was enforcing this by something. Who yeah, he, yeah, had, he, had, he had a birth control. He had birth control laws. No, no, no. He You're had, talking about what he did. I'm talking about how he secured it. How he, with fear. I, I think with fear. But with fear, religion. Or something. Remember, remember, Yaku had how many scientists side with him? Oh, uh, I can't remember that. I know it was 66,000 that decided to go with Shabazz, but I can't remember how many it was with uh, Yaku. Was it 600 or something? I can't remember. Go ahead. Go ahead. But anyway, they had instructions because they knew that he wouldn't live to see his... Oh, yeah, you're right. Go ahead. Go ahead. They said they knew he, he knew he wouldn't live to see his work completed. 
So he mm-hmm. gave them instructions. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. And he told them how to enforce the wedding or the union, the people, in order to get to the gene, the lighter gene. Go ahead, go ahead. I, I can't remember exactly. Right? So this is when he explained to them the process of the grafting process. Mm-hmm. He said, marry the darkest ones to the lightest mm-hmm. ones. Mm-hmm. And marry the medium ones to the medium ones until you get all the way down to blind hair and blue eyes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, now Do- Pops told us about two different groups of Europeans. Mm-hmm. What we mm-hmm. call Nordics comes from what you call flugerides. Mm-hmm. And the, the Nordics became tall, warrior-like Europeans with the long aquiline features. <clears throat> and the Canaanite became the short, stubby, round-faced, curly-haired European that mm-hmm. you see today. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. So you got the white boy with the nappy hair like an afro. Mm-hmm. Right? Now they call the Irish the red-haired stepchild of Europe because of their piebald suntan and their ginger-colored hair. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And they don't like the Scots because they too close to the Irish in mm-hmm. relation of clans. But they tell you that it's a war about Catholicism. Mm. Because the original Irish was Orisha. The word Irish is a derivative of Orisha. Mm-hmm. Okay, so now Baba wrote who's who on the planet Earth. Yeah. Remember? Yeah. Yeah. This is this is what we're going over right now. Who's who on the planet Earth? Now, the Greeks were the first Europeans that Anana, Queen of Heaven and Earth, ordered to be cleaning up. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now, why did she order somebody to go up there and clean them up? What happened? Where is it recorded? Right. Well, <clears throat> she woke up one morning. And she summoned the bookkeeper, Tahuti, and told him to dispatch the scientists to a place in Europe called the Caucasus. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. And coming to find out, they was living with canines. Mm -hmm. A small band of throwaway genetic experiments that wasn't all the way perfected. Mm -hmm. Where we find this at? Remember when Pops was saying the birth defects? What kind of guy create birth defects? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Remember? This is what he's talking Mm -hmm. about because it's recorded in the tablets, in the Sumerian Mm -hmm. tablets. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right? That they had used sulfur instead of carbon to create the genetic experiment and the ones that didn't meet the standard, they were supposed to burn them in the fire and I mean in the uh, fire and brimstones of Gehenna. Mm-hmm. But that sent them into what they call a soul cycle loop, and they will c- keep coming back defective. Mm. That's interesting. They can't get out of the Earth's atmosphere as an energy flux. In 3D terms, that means they denied the right to ascend. Mm. Now, when they returned, the Egyptian hieroglyph said that Isis uh, was brought a creature from Europe. And when they brought him in, she asked the question, what manner of beast is this? (laughs) Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yaku's drafted devil. Yaku's drafted devil. 
Remember, it's a war and a competition between two warring Anunnaki family members. Mm -hmm. Sibling rivalry, one trying to top the other. Enlil heard about the good time Enki was having with the Earth people mm -hmm. and got jealous. Where do we know about a God that got jealous? In the Bible. And what'd he say? I'm a jealous God. Um, Don't put no God before me. No other God. If he was really a God, he wouldn't even be worried about that bitch ass shit. Yeah, right? <laughs> Go ahead. That sounds like some gay shit to me. Just me. I'm the only one. You can only worship me. <laughs> <laughs> Look. <clears throat> so, if he got jealous, where do we know the story that we went over earlier of a brother that got jealous? Uh, Yish Yishak was always, Yishak was Yaku's father, and he was jealous of his brother because he of the rule too. Like, it, it's, I guess that story like spiraled down through different. You know, Go parts. back to the Emerald Tablets with what you just said. Uh, to who do you say in Emerald Tablets? Start say. No man, that life is cycles within cycles. Mm -hmm. If mm -hmm. you interrupt the pattern, you break the cycle. Mm. The trick is to learn the lesson to allow you to see when the cycle flips so you can jump out the infinity loop when it turns around so you're mm -hmm. not caught on a hamster wheel. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right? So, Pop said, remember, in the law of the gods, now he's talking the Galactic Federation law, mm -hmm. right? That mm -hmm. when you do something in the free will universe to oppress anybody or to deprive them of their right of free will, then you're going to be subject to the same um, punishment you inflicted on them. Mm hmm now, we hear this as it goes around, it comes around, right? Mm hmm And you reap what you sow. Mm hmm mm hmm Right? And you get back what you put out. Do unto others as you would have others do unto you. And all of them the same. Different ways of saying it, right? Mm hmm That's right. Right. Because galactic law has us in this position because of a, a prior condition. So the queen of heaven and earth want to clean this up. Mm -hmm. Who job is it to clean that shit up? It's our job. The galactic law say that the custodians of the earth is responsible to restore the earth at the close of the age, no matter who did it. Mm -hmm. So if mm -hmm. it's going to be our job to clean it up, how do you clean up the genetic defect of a human that was deliberately deformed by somebody trying to play God in the laboratory? Mm -hmm. Right? What's the treatment for it? What's the remedy? Because they're going to keep coming back and if they try to use too much brain power, they're going to shrivel up like Stephen Hawking. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. So what's the remedy? Yeah, what's the remedy? What's the remedy? One drop of Anunnaki blood cleans up all of the birth defects. Oh. Hey, okay, like, put it, let me pause right there. Let me ask you this. All right, dealing with the O type blood, you got O positive, O negative, A, B, positive, negative, A, B. Now, for my uh, studying, I'm, I'm starting to figure out the special different type of blood on the O type. Now, you said one drop of blood. So what, was, is it one drop of the O positive or is it one type, what, like what, break, could you break that down on the blood deal too? To add that into the Yaku, because it Look, with the blood typing, the blood typing tells them from where you came. 
because you tied to the earth. Mm -hmm. The blood types are altered by the frequency of the earth when you traverse to a different location. It's the frequency of the earth is changing the frequency in the DNA because we organic to the land, we tie it to the earth. So mm -hmm. as we move across the earth, it's just like you're changing radio stations on radio as you move across the country. The earth has to keep you in tune with it in order for you not to fall apart and turn into a big pile of mush on the earth. Mm -hmm. Right? A genetic soup laying mm -hmm. in the middle of nowhere. Right, so earth, you have to be compatible with the earth to a certain degree in order to remain here, or else mm -hmm. the earth will start to pull you apart. Mm -hmm. They Ooh. call it gravity, but it's the electromagnetic field that puts the energy at play in a torsion mm -hmm. field that gives the illusion of gravity as mm -hmm. they describe it. Gravity mm -hmm. is the weak force but the electromagnetic field holds in position according to the way that the rays of light hit the magnetic field. Mm -hmm. Hey, you could All right. Oh, shit. All right, so now the, uh, the um, geneticist is working with somebody to enforce Yakub's rule. Mm -hmm. Now we know Yakub is a black Jew, right? Because the Jews come from Jacob, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the Judeans, the black Judeans, are the children of Jacob. Mm -hmm. Jacob is. Uh, Yaakov, the supplanter, one who came to replace the original man. Mm -hmm. Because that's who you are burrowing under. So now, um, Elijah said that when, when they um, was enforcing his rule, they was using the police. Mm hmm Mm -hmm. Wasn't no police over here before they came with their servants that they brought from Mongolia, from Huns, and from what we call today Hindus. Right. These was nomadic tribes that they warred with as Rome proper. Uh -huh. So when you look at the wars of Rome and the spoils of war, was the women, the children, and the wealth of the land. And they conquered the land. The, so now you have, we all the way over in the military lane now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So now we got to play warfare mentally to unravel who we fighting against that's keeping us in the condition. Mm -hmm. Right? So mm -hmm. we search documents and we find stuff like the papal bloody decree that you showed. Remember we went over that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So they, they made the oath public and now somebody exposed it. Mm hmm mm hmm Okay, mm -hmm. now, and why did, um, what do they call it if you got one drop of Negro blood in America? A nigga? <laughs> you got what? A Negro. <laughs> yeah, Negro. All right. How much blood, how much Anunnaki blood do it take to clean up the genetic mutation? One drop. One drop. Is that a coincidence? No. I think it all lines up. Okay, now watch this. What do mm -hmm. they call America the great melding pot, right? Yeah, that's right. Go ahead. What do you do in the melding pot? You uh, mix things together. You mix ingredients together. Yeah. And the ingredients they mix them together is enforced through some people known as eugenicists. Hmm. Remember the opposites attract I told you was going to come back up? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. This way it come back up. Oh, yeah. Who I think J.K. Rogers, Go ahead. sex, race, right? Mm-hmm. They do scientific experiments 
on the uncanny attraction of black men to white women, right? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. And in their studies, they determined originally that the standard of beauty of the black woman was so great that they couldn't overcome that obstacle and compel them to amalgamate with a white woman. Mm -hmm. And in contrary to that, back then, when they did the analysis, they couldn't figure out why the white woman didn't find the black man attractive. Oh, go ahead, go ahead. How in the fuck is they gonna get one drop of blood when they don't attract each other? Right, go ahead. So what do you put between two repulsions in order to cause them to contract together or to draw together? Say glue. <laughs> I don't know. Like, I don't know. Go ahead. Go ahead. Look, you got two opposing forces. You need something to interrupt or to draw the two forces together. Oh. Uh, right? So now the only way you can do that is you have to have something called a reverse resistor, which yeah. is going to in turn invert the current of one and, or, and automatically draw it to the other. What do everybody you other fucking want? What they can't fucking have. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That's right. So how do you enforce getting these people together? While we at war, they telling us to stay away from white salad. Mm -hmm. Right? Remember, George Wallace was the governor, was running for governor in Georgia. Uh huh. And he stood up there with a group known as the KKK. Uh huh. Go ahead. And he Go ahead. was adamant that we will protect the sanctity and purity of the white woman at all costs. Yeah. Go ahead. How the fuck you gonna do that? Right. Okay. So right. now we understand the dynamic of the KKK and their origin. Mm -hmm. Right, because they come from Barcelona, Spain, and the black hand was the grand dragon that led the hordes in uniform with cone heads across the land. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, remember. I told y'all before they use pale faces to block institutions to keep out the uh, friendly faces, to keep us out of the institutions. But they got the secrets and they hiding in the lodge, 32 degrees, Scottish Wright, Albert Pike, Adam Whitesharp, George Washington, two ball King flip. They tied that shit all together in the Masonic Lodge and now they use reverse psychology to draw two people that didn't even have any affinity for one another together because they told them they can't have each other. Mm. Because mm. now the eugenicist is telling you that they're trying to get rid of the birth defect in the mm. European. Dr. Francis Quest Wellesley mm -hmm told him exactly what the defect was. And it stopped them from having the right to a sin. Mm. Big mama don't like it that. She said, you don't throw people away like trash. So all this time, we've been thinking that we was the last that was about to be made first. Mm -hmm. We was living as last to the ones that was last that Big Mama made first. Because they did the dirt, the good had to suffer with the bad. Mm. One bad apple spoils a whole bunch, huh? One bad apple spoils the whole motherfucking bunch. When you get so comfortable living in opulence lifetime after lifetime, it's exhilarating to have the resistance of the struggle in mm -hmm. order to make your God form shine brighter than it ever had before. 
But first, you got to wake up from the slumber. So the devil is in place in order to use the law because it wasn't over here. Before they came, we didn't have no prisons. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so Big Mama smarter than motherfuckers. Mm -hmm. So what did she do? Because we didn't know how to break from under the curse. Kingu. Because mm -hmm. they was doing the blood led rituals that was making us incapable of learning. Mm. Because it kept our brains in a stupor, a spell of sleep. Because the angels can't function in a state of fear, the fear caused all of our auras to shrink in on themselves and created our own hell. and bow down to something inferior to us because we failed to go within to find out who the fuck we was. Mm. All right? So the historical record pieces being put together, the genetic uh, practices is also being spoke of in ancient times, mm -hmm. right? And the scrolls that tell the story directly and indirectly all say the same thing. Mm -hmm. They say exactly what Baba said. You motherfuckers ain't getting punished for your sins. You getting punished by your sins. Yeah. <laughs> so who in the fuck is they using to thrash our asses across the back? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, now that's going to have a lifespan and it has to come to an end. It got to have a lifespan and it has to come to an end. It got to come to a grand finale because this shit can't continue on. So we look around the world and find, is there any more melding pots? Mm. That's right. You remember, you remember what Pop said, right? Brazilianization. Yeah. Right, and Brazilian Brazilianization is the mixing up of a genetic pool in order to clean the birth defects from an inferior stock by the royal blood from across the land. Mm. The South American priest was the least infiltrated and the most effective in recovering Yakub's grafted devil. Because how did they say Elijah say they had the how did they get, have to get rid of them? Reverse engineer them. Yeah, go ahead. So if they need one drop of blood, that's enough to give them a right to ascend. Mm. Because now they can raise the sacred secretion. Before they could only operate on what's called the silver liquid, which is what they call cerebral spinal fluid which mm -hmm. is virtually clear like water, right? And it's heavily infused with colloidal gold, colloidal silver, and other essential trace minerals and um, metals. It's not until the soft metals come into the body, what we call toxic metals, that interferes with the harmony in the system of allowing the secretions to rise. That's why they be putting all that metals in our shit. Mm -hmm. Hey, can I ask you a question? Yeah. Hey, how, like, uh, I hear you say uh, that they need that one drop of blood to a sin. Is that the same thing to say that they need, like, like uh, that they stored, soul restored, or uh, needed a soul? To, Look, to get when they here? said they didn't have a soul, it mm -hmm. was because the calcification um, of the channel right. that allows the sacred secretion to rise. The pioneer um, gland, the melanin. Oh, right. shit, I, knew, I know this, go ahead. They couldn't raise the liquid from the base of the spine to the head. Mm. And it caused them to short circuit and blow a fuse. Mm. Right, and mm -hmm. it causes them to operate on the lower three chakras. 
They can't get past that. All they need is one drop of blood to clear the channel. So mm. in the eugenics was all the time telling the public that they was trying to keep us apart. They was actually behind the scenes promoting interracial relationships in order to clean up the genetic defect and allow the people that didn't have the right to a sin to have now have a right to a sin. All this right. makes sense. Mm -hmm. So now we understand why we tolerated all of that bullshit because at any given time under our oppression, we could have rose up and took over, but we didn't know it. The whole damn time. The whole goddamn time. The whole goddamn time that freedom was a carrot on the stick. And they had the stick tied up to our motherfucking back. Damn. Go ahead. So when we was chasing freedom, we didn't know that we are the ones that dispense freedom across the land. Mm -hmm. All we got to do is remember who the fuck we is and give the order to restore the balance to the land, the air, and the water. And galactic law say, Anything in any organization functional enough to aid on the planet must be mobilized in order to clean up the earth, the air, and the motherfucking water. What used to be chemtrails is cleanup shit now, but it's mm -hmm. still got to come out the sky. Mm -hmm. And it's still got to bring the foul shit down with it in order mm -hmm. to get it out the air. Mm -hmm. And when it come out the air, Mama got to send that water to flood in order to wash that shit off the land so that it could go into the underground channels and be filtered through the charcoals and the soils of the earth. Mm -hmm. So now you see flooding in dry places. Shit, Baltimore flooded the other day. Uh, was it yesterday or the day before? Damn, Baltimore flooded? Damn. I just posted it on my Instagram. Somebody hey, sent me the video. Somebody from Baltimore sent me the video and say, look, this Baltimore. Damn, that's crazy. Mm -hmm. Now, remember, they still got floods in California, Arizona, and New Mexico, mm -hmm. and they don't even hardly get rain. Remember? Mm -hmm. It never rains in Southern California. Yeah. So when it do, we need to be paying attention. Yeah. Why is it all of a sudden raining in Southern California when it don't normally rain in Southern California because it's mm -hmm. that's that's going to make us have to go visit the Orisha because the only place to find the answer is patriarchy brings drought and it scars the land. When the matriarchy comes and the, those three soldiers get done tearing shit up. You know, we're talking about Shango, Ogun, and Legba mm -hmm. in order to get the shit situated and straightened out. When Oshun returned, she returned with the floods to flush and cleanse the land, and then she brings the tranquility and the sweet water behind it, which is the payout. Mm -hmm. So all we got to do is time this shit to a jubilee year. Right? Mm -hmm. At the close of the age. And the transferring of the energy from Aquarius, which is the water, to, I mean, from Pisces, which is the water, to Aquarius, which is the air. That's mm -hmm. moisture. That's evaporation. Right? The reverse of re evaporation is called saturation. Right? So now, the water picture of Aquarius was broke in order to signal the uh, return of the Aquarian age. This mm -hmm. was symbolic in a star uh, meteor flying through the, uh, the uh, trajectory of the water bottle that Aquarius carries, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right? That's the return of the sweet water for Oshun, who washes away the toxins off the surface of the earth, send them into the bowels and the belly of the planet to be recycled and cleansed. Because we got to cleanse the land, but you first got to start with the air. So you evaporate the water where it wasn't normally at in order to rain where it didn't normally rain. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. Right. So in order for that to happen up in the upper atmosphere, you got something called an atmospheric river that has to change trajectory in order to switch where the condensation of the earth arises. The only way this can happen is if we get off of a shoe man resonance and get back to the shoe and Tefnut resonance of the golden mm. um, cycle. Right? Mm. But the UVB rays of the, of the sun, shout out to Brother Kalai. That brother did a good job on explaining that shit. He was breaking that shit down. Well, mm -hmm. uh, we're going to check that out, too. We're going to have to go over that one day because it's um, also part of what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. These rays of sunlight interact with the people, what they call the royal families, the noble blood, because it's earth-born um, stardust accumulation in order to give sentience to the physical body, mm -hmm. right? That's the easiest way to explain earth-born child of the stars. So in order to be here, you have to have, be on a certain frequency in order to be optimally functional here. Mm -hmm. And if you have somebody here that's denied the right to be optimally functional, then somebody got to fix it. Mm -hmm. Oh, shit. And some of them, the wisest ones, they, they don't care talking. about taking sides. They only care about being effective. They just want to make sure that the job get done, that shit get done right, and all of the bullshit get cleaned up. So, um, I had to step out for a sec. I had to do that a minute ago. I got to talk to my sister. Look, my sister called. I had one over because they was trying to tell her she needed to be in hospice. And my mom already told me she ain't going nowhere. Uh, she got to uh, keep her grandkids. So I went and got her some supplements to get her on her feet. My cousin called me talking about, what you give her? They said, she up cleaning up the house, cleaning out the refrigerator. And I was like, see, I told y'all. But I had to wait till the traditional doctors can't do nothing because then you ain't got shit to lose. You might as well try the remedy that I'm giving you because it's an option you didn't have before. And when people got faced with their last option, they more likely to take advantage of opportunities when it's presented to them under those conditions. And sometimes those opportunities come from the most unexpected places. Everybody be looking for shit to be in a little neat order and everybody to be squeaky clean and nobody ain't never made no mistakes in their life. We all made mistakes. We all, what the, what the Christians say, we all fall short of the glory of God because we ain't all doing no God shit. Motherfucker running around talking about they woke and they diet woke. They talking about they God, but they don't do no God shit. And they don't even know the difference between the God and the man, so... At that point right there, they stuck because they're going to tell you they, I don't know what the fuck they're going to tell you, anthropomorphism. But the fact that the original woman, mitochondrial Eve, um, is the oldest genetically traceable female, right? And um, my uh, uh, what they call primordial Adam is the furthest tracing male. You mm. want to look them up, young girl, to show the people. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Wait, 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 I'll look it up for you. Go ahead, what you got? Mitochondrial E, so they okay, can see that you. this is a real shit. They got whole scientific papers on this shit. I be I do this sometimes because they be saying I don't be having no receipts. Hey man, your receipts be official, bro. What was the last word, mitochondrial? Eve, see it at the bottom? Okay, right there, Eve, Eve. Yeah. Mitochondrial Eve. Read what oh, it say right there, in human genetics. Oh, oh shit. In, in human genetics, the mitochondrial Eve is the matrilineal most matrilineal recent, most recent common ancestor of all, of all living humans. Living humans. What? Okay, now primordial Adam. I, my phone about to die, so I'm, um, 
when they die, we're gonna, we gonna finish this another time. Yeah, yeah, we're we gonna do, do a part. come back with a part two if we had to or another class, uh, because we've been on for a while anyway. We've been on almost okay. two hours since we've been on. Yeah, so pull up primordial atom. You got primordial me. atom, you say Adam? Yeah. Oh, I got you. Okay, it says in Kabbalism, Adam Cartman, primordial, also called Adam Elium. Put uh, National Geographic behind because they did the special. National Geographic. Uh, okay. You would say uh, scientific Adam and Eve. Yeah, right here. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go back and check out that white lady you told you told us about earlier too. Dog, she gonna blow your fucking wig back, dog. Yeah, I got, yeah, she on some she on some shit that I gotta put a tape out about. I've been following her work since like uh, the since she was in school. Mm -hmm. When I first got up on her, she was in grad school. What? Mm -hmm. That's crazy. It says a like, scientific Adam and Eve National Geographic. National Grid Graphic putting this shit out. Yeah. So they go back to the most common Y chromosome ancestor. Now, when you look up, when you listen to the dates, you go back to record screen now. Okay, we're, about right. ready, we're about to get ready to wrap this up. We will come back okay, in I'm on the part. I got you. All right, there we go. Okay, uh, okay so so um, mitochondrial Eve is something like over 200,000 years old. Mm -hmm. But primordial Adam is 60,000 years old. Okay. Right? Yeah, yeah. So who first? That's a good question, because, uh, hey, you know what? I was about to put a tape out about that, arguing with, was Adam first or Eve, or, you know, was the woman or the man first, based on mitochondrial DNA? To me, it's the woman. The mitochondrial DNA said that the woman was here long before a man that was ever invented. Mm-hmm. Plus, right. I don't know no so, man without a, uh, I don't know no man without look, a mother. they never showed mm -hmm. you a dinosaur with balls. Mm-hmm. Never Go seen ahead. one with a dick. <laughs> Go ahead. I need to hit a button, drop a bomb right there. <laughs> Say Look, that again. All <laughs> animals up until a certain point was female. Mm. They got a mitochondrial lizard. She self-replicates. She just uh, parthogenically reproduced perpetually. Wow. No it's males crazy. in their species. Wow. Pythons have been known to grow up and have living eggs and never being in contact with another snake. Mm hmm I heard about that. Right. Alligators have also been known to live in long-term isolation and still produce offspring, but the common denominator is they are the same gender as the mother. Uh-huh. Whereas... If it's a breeding pair, the temperature in the um, in the incubation mound determine which ones are male and which ones are female. Mm -hmm. Right, but in when they kept long term captivity, they all born female. That means they clones of the mother. Mm -hmm. They parthogenically generated. They have species of fish that's been known to parthogenically reproduce. These are ancient species of animal that predate the Y chromosome. Mm -hmm. the, the Y chromosome, when you look at it under a microscope, it is a um, X chromosome with an atrophied appendage. That's hey. a loss, a loss hey. of genetic material. I just thought of something based on this class you taught today and based on what you just said now. So... Would that explain why the man has a shorter lifespan than the woman because of that that missing that missing uh telomere telomere? He, he only got so he would only have a man would only have 
seven telomeres versus a woman because you got the Y, right? The X and the Y, and the man I had the woman I had eight telomeres, and the man only has seven. Do that is that a reason why the woman live longer than the man? It, it's definitely a contributing factor on an average, but the woman can sustain a man if she loves him because she'll keep his mitochondrial operating at his optimum performance. Mm, mm. But she gotta really, she gotta love him like his mother loved him when she was carrying him in her womb unconditionally. She mm. can't love you as long as you don't look at the uh, neighbor down the street. <laughs> but if you look at her, I don't love you no more. That is, that's conditional. Man gonna look, mm -hmm. you know? But um, when the woman give you that genuine true love and she can communicate telepathically with your mama so they can flip messages through your ass and mm. your face behind your back. You tell the truth. Right. And then when you wake up from your slumber, you see that they was using you like a puppet the whole time. You the fool in the tarot deck. Mm. And you on the hero's journey in, in um philosophy. Mm -hmm. Right? You the fool in the tarot card on the hero's journey in philosophy. Mm -hmm. Right? And in philosophy. Or in the occult, it teaches that the journey is within. Mm -hmm. Or they call it the journey to the self. Right? Mm -hmm. So um, I used to read this material from um, Self-Realization Fellowship. Mm -hmm. Right? Because the self-realization is coming to the understanding and aware your position is in creation and what is your value to life. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Nobody don't ask themselves them questions because they're scared of the answer. Right, right. Go ahead. If you're good in your heart and you're scared that the answer going to come back that you was assigned to be the terror, your feelings going to be hurt. Mm-hmm. Then you're going to go terrorize some shit. And ain't going to feel bad about it. Remorse is from never coming to terms with the things that you had to do for the level of understanding you was at. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you think you're going to do the same thing at 45 that you was doing at 13, you was a damn fool. Mm -hmm. Because the quote is, be wise with speed, for a fool at 40 is a fool indeed. <laughs> right? Yeah. And they say that the wisdom is wasted on the aged and youth is wasted on the young. Mm. Mm. How do you stop wasting all this shit? You had elders to teach the young about their mistakes so they don't make the same ones. That's Break that. generational curses. Teach motherfuckers to be better people. You know? Get the motherfucking rogue elements out of the community. Stop motherfuckers from touching on the babies. Give them a free and a open opportunity to determine who they is on their own without you telling them they was a boy born to be a girl. Mm -hmm. Why would you tell your child that? That's crazy, man. Right? So they reassigning genders at birth in order to control which children can reproduce. And if they got a certain genetic stock, they don't want them to reproduce. So they cross their gender. Mm -hmm. The side effect is when they come back in their next life, their gender going to be confused because nobody don't know how to correct them. Because science fucked them up. Some of the most powerful people on the planet is them little kids you see in the wheelchair with the palsy. Yeah. Their spirits are so powerful that if they was in regular form, you couldn't control them. Mm. So the side effect is we get to be thankful that we healthy, happy, and capable, right? But now you got people with Down syndrome outperforming a lot of grown ass motherfucking so-called normal people. 
It's wasted potential. Humpty Dumpty fell off the wall, wasted his potential. Mm -hmm. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty Dumpty back together again because yeah. he wasted his potential. Yeah. If he'd have stayed on the goddamn wall, the egg could have hatched and he could have turned into a fucking eagle. Yeah. But instead, yeah. he won't, you know, waste his potential. That's the story of the average person. That's how we end up in the human society, like wolves pick rank. Humans pick rank the same way. Most love, most respected is the code that get us the highest ranking amongst the righteous. So no matter what you go through in life, whether you walk the dark side or in the light, you still got to be yourself in order to overcome your life's obstacles and mm -hmm. become your best version of yourself. Because the mistakes you made is the ones that's designed to form your character into a certain thinking pattern in order to accomplish a certain goal in the overall grand arcana of things, the great work. Mm -hmm. And the great work is to build Solomon's temple. Mm -hmm. Solomon's temple is the temple of man. And Solomon is the soul of man. That means the temple is the body. Don't they tell mm -hmm. you that all the time? Yeah. The temple is your body is the temple. Respect your temple. Right? Respecting your temple is understanding what to do with your mind, body, and soul. And understanding that being your best version of yourself is the only way to elevate. Right? So we're gonna wrap it up here, young elder. Uh, yeah, we're gonna let you, hey, we're we gonna get you back on, man, because uh like we got we got a lot, we got a lot to cover, man. So we're gonna be busy. We we staying busy. Yeah, we gotta we gotta do a part two to this because Yakub's graph to devil is also gonna end up in politics and in religion. And I'm gonna show them these are the ones that is enforcing Yakub's code. And then we're gonna review Yakub's code. Oh yeah, this is gonna be a. Hey, this was a good class tonight because you gave me a lot of little key points that I can go off of to add to my game. And now I'm gonna go because that chromosome joint, man. I'm telling you, you just dropped some juice on that chromosome thing, man. You just put some in my head. I'm gonna go and research on chromosome because I'm, I'm doing a tape on which one was first, the woman or the man. And I, I, I'm I'm looking at all of the evidence that we got to prove that Listen. the woman was first. Yeah. And the last thing in relation to the woman and the man, mm -hmm. all of the DNA is powered, all of the cells in the body is powered by mitochondria DNA. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If women love controls the DNA in the man that she loves, that's only possible because a man can't control it. Mm -hmm. It gives him um, higher access to his self, mm -hmm. right? So for mitochondrial to be that important and men can't control it and they can't pass it on, mm -hmm. right? That means that somewhere along the line, the woman had to okay the man to be a recipient of mitochondrial according to galactic law. Mm -hmm. And the only way that the woman would have to okay the man is if she was already here. Mm -hmm. And that's why I pointed out that all of those ancient animals was female. That's who right. Reproduced, and who reproduced through partial gender. I appreciate you putting that out. Mm -hmm. We so sure appreciate you pointing that out, man, because... um. If you're in the building, hit that like, hit that subscribe, man. And like I said, we, we've been posting uh Rob, Brother Rob Haynes cash app every five minutes in the chat. Uh, so if you want to show him some love like that, go right ahead, man. We take one dollar, five dollars, ten dollars, whatever you got. We ain't uh he don't do it for money, but if you just like say you want to show him some love, go right ahead, man. Uh all right, Rob, we about to get out of here, man, because uh uh, this right here was a good one, man. We're gonna be back on with another whatever topic you want to do whenever you want to come on. Just let me know and we could we could do it. It don't matter what time it is because I be going three live three and four times a day. 
But this was a good one. This was a, you really gave me more to this uh, Yaku thing. It's a bigger picture. So we about to get out. I think Rob Haynes' phone went dead. Like I say, you want to show him some love, we're going to post the cash app again in the links. Uh, it's S, it's dollar sign, dollar sign, S I K A P E. So uh, this is his brother Rod Haynes' cash app, man. We want to thank y'all, all the people that showed us love tonight. So it's I, it's S I K A E P E, like Sky Ape. So we about to get ready to get out of here, man. Uh, it, this was hot. We thank you for tuning in. We're gonna be back on at nine o'clock in the morning for the morning class. We got other topics coming out. And now that I got that particular uh, chromosome thing from uh, that chromosome look from uh, Rob Haynes, I'm gonna take that and add it to the the tape that I was doing, and that's going to make, I'm going to have some more information on this joint, man, on what he was just talking about. But we're about to get ready to get out of here, man. Peace and love, Islam, I should divine love throughout the violence universe to all, all.